Incoming message. Amanda Zander, major within the True Sons ranks, age 36, and the fourth target within Captain Lewis's DC operation. A database search uncovered some interesting intel on Schaefer and Lyle's plan in connection to the Black Tusk and a possible bigger threat, the Hunters. Xander, born and raised in Washington, D.C., always dreamed of becoming a police officer. To bring order and justice and to uphold the law was all she ever wanted in life. She was a dedicated and skilled soldier in the war against drugs as part of the police department in D.C. Unfortunately for Xander, the largest part of police work is waiting, donuts, and paperwork. There's nothing more dangerous than a bored Xander with an itchy trigger finger. She just loved the feeling of getting a perp in her crosshairs. She had to find ways to channel her energy that was constructive so she didn't get another sanction for excessive force, so she joined a competitive shooting league. Taking note of Xander's penchant for violence, her commanding officer recommended that she should sign up for the National Guard, hoping that the training exercises would scratch that itch and that she would eventually calm down. But roughly a month after she joined the National Guard, the green poison spread and she was placed on active duty with the Joint Task Force under Antoine Ridgeway's unit. There couldn't have been a better place for a woman of Xander's specific psychopathy than with the future leader of the True Sons. After Ridgeway's death, Xander earned her place on Lewis's unit and started torturing and interrogating civilians in order to gather intel for their operation. It's unsure how the truce between the True Sons and Black Tusk was founded, but we've discovered intel of Schaefer attempting to recruit Xander to fight what he calls a common enemy. If I ever see you again, I will fucking kill you, Schaefer. That's a promise. I understand why you're angry, but we need to put a pin in this and focus on our common enemy. Agent Lau, I fucking hate that chick. I don't trust her. She's been on my list for a while. Not Lau. She's not the enemy. She turned you into her bitch boy. You should hate her. She has her reasons. This channel's not secure, but you should really talk to Lau. Fuck that. I'm not letting her get into my head. Xander had her own reasons for her distaste towards Schaefer, Lau, and the Black Tusk. Let's just say that her emotions clouded her judgment. What do you want, Douglas? <sighs> just a friendly chat. This about your girlfriend? Who? Lau. Is that what this is about? You hate Lau because you think we're together? No. I hate Lau because that bitch got half of my squad killed in New York when the reservists were called up to maintain the quarantine. Oh. Well, good. I'd hate to think you were still pissed about how things ended with us. Doesn't help that you're sleeping with a traitor. Oh, okay. She's not a traitor. She's a good woman. She's been through a lot. We all have. <sighs> Just give her a chance. Meet with her, and you'll see. We can help each other. There's something bigger happening. Uh, you two getting married? Would it matter if we were? Damn, okay, Douglas. You need me to go rescue your pappy from the White House. You gonna finally reconcile so he can walk you down the aisle? Is that the secret mission? Xander, focus. We need to work together if we're going to stop what's coming. Okay. Fine. Set it up. I'll meet with Lau. Xander had been romantically involved with Bridget Douglas. If you can recall, agents, Viper is a former division agent turned rogue that joined the Black Tusk. And it's no minor detail that she's also the daughter of Charles Douglas, the co-founder of Douglas and Harding. During their collaboration, Lau and Douglas built a relationship which didn't sit well with Xander. However, as Xander agreed, it wasn't long before Lau contacted her. General Anderson wasn't too pleased. Natalia, I thought we had an understanding. I understand you no longer wish to work with us and our fragile truce is broken. I do wish you would reconsider my kind offer. And I wish you would reconsider trying to recruit my men to whatever clandestine bullshit you and Lau are cooking up. 
I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Oh, don't play dumb. It's not convincing on you. If Lau is reaching out to your true sons, it is not on my orders. That's on her own volition. Or maybe it's your true sons that are reaching out to her. My troops are loyal. Who did she allegedly reach out to? Major Xander. Oh. Well, this is probably a personal matter more than professional. Have you seen the state of the world? No one has time for personal matters. Well, women like Amanda find a way to make the time. You don't have to worry. No one is trying to take her from you. She frankly would not be a good fit for the Black Tusk, even if she wasn't trying to cast herself as the victim of a love triangle. Just stay away from my troops. Certainly, General. Have a good day. And don't hesitate to call again if you need anything. Good luck managing Xander. Douglas says she can be a bit unstable. Xander has moved in on DC's Judiciary Square District, setting up shop at the District Union Arena and using it as a hostage holding pen. Her unit has reinforced their position by capturing strategic points in the area over at Infirmary and Cinder Block. We're unsure of the exact reasons for the torture and interrogation of the civilians in the arena, but it's quite obviously a trap. Still, we can't leave them to their fate. Spring the trap.